Nadia and her cousin Sebastian are both looking forward to their December school holidays. For Nadia, the freezing cold weather means it's the perfect time of year to go sledding with her family, drink hot chocolate and cuddle up by the fire to keep warm. For Sebastian, the hot sunny days means that his family will be enjoying barbecues, playing at the beach or splashing about in the pool to cool down. But how is it possible for Nadia and Sebastian to experience different seasons at the same time? To answer that, we need to learn about the seasons and why we have them. Let's take a look at the Earth as it makes its way around the Sun. A bit closer. 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 Whoa, not that close. Back up a bit. Perfect. The Earth doesn't stand straight up as it orbits the Sun. Its axis is tilted at an angle of 23.4 degrees. This means that at certain times during its orbit around the Sun, one hemisphere points towards the Sun while the other hemisphere points away from the Sun. When a hemisphere is pointing towards the Sun, it receives lots of direct sunlight. This raises the temperature causing the hemisphere to experience summer. The opposite is true for the hemisphere pointing away from the Sun. That hemisphere doesn't receive as much direct sunlight, so the temperature drops and that hemisphere experiences winter. June marks the beginning of summer in the Northern Hemisphere and winter in the Southern Hemisphere. Six months later, when the Earth reaches the opposite side of the Sun, summer begins in the Southern Hemisphere while winter begins in the Northern Hemisphere. As the Earth travels around the Sun, there are times when neither hemisphere is pointing towards or away from the Sun, giving us autumn and spring. What does this all mean for Nadia and Sebastian? Well, they're experiencing opposite seasons because they live on opposite hemispheres. Sebastian is pointing towards the Sun in December, so he's in the Southern Hemisphere while Nadia is pointing away from the Sun and freezing away in the Northern Hemisphere. But what about their cousin Eduardo who lives on the equator? It doesn't matter which hemisphere is tilted towards the Sun. The equator receives the same amount of sunlight throughout the year, so the temperature there remains fairly constant. Some of the other planets of the solar system have seasons too. It all depends on their tilt. Some planets, like Venus, have almost no tilt and almost no seasonal changes. Whereas the planet Uranus is so tilted that it barrel rolls around the Sun and seasons vary wildly depending on where on the planet you are. The further away from the Sun you go, the longer it takes the planets to complete an orbit, and so the longer the seasons are. If you're ever unlucky enough to be stuck on Neptune during winter, make sure you're wrapped up warm because you'll have to wait 40 years for it to end. Boom!